So enterprise teams in Glide now have access to SQL data sources. This one has been requested a lot. And it's super exciting for us because many businesses can now tap into their existing large production data sets, unlocking a huge range of use cases as well as a huge amount of data for their teams. Also, SQL is read and write, so you can actually build applications that streamline access to data in a very controllable and user-friendly way. Or you can actually query your datasets in Glide and then bring in that query, just that query, as a read table giving you total control of what comes into Glide and your row limits. So let's take a look at this now in Glide and how it works. So just like any data source, we'll head to the data editor and click new table and scroll down to this new SQL folder. Today, I'm gonna to work with Postgres. So this internal name can be anything that you like. It's just between you and Glide. It doesn't affect your actual database in terms of where it's coming from. Next, we're gonna put in the host. The port is defaulted to 5432, but you can change that if you need. The database needs to be the exact name of your database. And then there's just your username and your password. Now we see our data sets, and if I open this folder here, I can click one of the tables. And we have two options. Either create a custom query, which you can pull in as a read table, or if you hit continue, you'll bring in the entire table as a read and write table to Glide. Now, if you don't have an ID column set in your table, then Glide will ask you which one that is. But we already set this, so we don't see that dialog. And as you can see, this data is indeed editable, and we can start building screens out of this right away. Now any of our users can go to this list and make direct changes to our SQL database. So that's bringing in an entire table to get full read-write access in Glide. But if you are happy with just having a read table, you can use the query editor in Glide to bring in a subset of your data. So let's do this now. I'm gonna click on that same data source, Postgres, same data set, same table, but this time I'm gonna click custom query and this will open up Glide's query editor. So you can see here, we've got a kind of live preview of whatever query we have up here. And if I paste in a query I made earlier, I can hit preview and see that subset of my data. And I can name it, and then I can hit save. And that is gonna be saved as a separate table in Glide. But this does not have read-write access, just read. Now, all of the SQL data sources don't provide real-time updates. When you write data, it goes straight away to your database. But if the data in your SQL database changes, it's not gonna push that straight away to Glide. So we have a reload query action. You can, of course, add this action in lots of different ways, but I'm just going to add it as a button above my list. In the action over here, I'm going to call it reload, and then we're going to choose the reload query action. Next, you need to just select the table, and now when you click this button, it's going to reload your data source and check whether there have been any new rows that have been added. If the structure of your data changes, in other words, if you add new columns in your tables, then you're gonna to need to click Sync Table Schema, and that will update in Glide. 